Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, Django series. So today we're going to talk about the Django ORM uh, and we're going to do some query sets. Okay, so first, uh, the Django ORM or uh, the Django Object Relational Mapper is a tool which is used to be like a bridge between your Python code and the database. So in modern web development, you usually don't really uh, create your d database tables or do the migrations yourself. You usually use a tool like an ORM, which takes all your models and converts them into uh, data database tables and also performs uh, a lot of the questions queries so you don't have to write SQL queries on your own. Okay, so this might seem a little bit abstract to you, but uh, you can learn more easily by some examples and this is what we will going to do today. Uh, we're going to do some query sets. So query sets allow you to uh, access the uh, database through your Python code and access uh, for example, the posts we have already created or all the other data you're, you're storing in a DB. Okay, so uh, to test the Django ORM or to wor work with it, we're going to use the, uh, the shell, the Django shell that uh, is provided when you install Django. So to do that, we first need to use the terminal and activate the virtual environment. If you are using VS Code like me, uh, make sure to go here and then go to the terminal. If you go to the terminal, you'll see that VS Code automatically activates the virtual environment for you, so you are in uh, the my VMV virtual environment like me. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, to run the Django shell, we need to type in python manage.py shell. Okay, and now we are inside uh, the Django shell, which seems like the usual Python console. And we need, we want to uh, execute some query sets, okay? Um, so let's say that we want to list all the posts we have created so far. So I am here in the code in the models.py for uh, for the blog app, and here is the post model we created in the previous episodes. So now I want to access uh, all the posts I currently have in the database, and for that I'm going to use Django ORM. Okay, so uh, first we need to uh, import the post model so we can use it in our query sets. The, so this is how uh, we do this from um, blog.models import post. Okay, so now I have my post model imported and I can run query sets. Let's list all the posts we have so far. So post.objects.all with two parentheses at the end. And here is the result, which is a query set, which is the list uh, of all. So it is a set of all the posts I have, which is a list in this case. Okay, I only have one post with the title first post. So this is how we can use Django ORM to perform queries and get back a query set. Uh, so this is how we list all objects. Let's say we want to create an object. So first, uh, we have retrieved the post, but to create an object, we need, let's see the model here, we need an author, a title, and a text. The author is going to be uh, the user model, so we need to import the user model as well. So let's import uh, the user model like we did with post. That is, uh, uh, the user model is provided by Django, so it is under uh, django.contrib.auth.models import user. Okay, let's do the same and list all the users we have so far user.objects.all and as you can see there is only one user the the admin user uh, I have created okay uh, now let's get only this admin user and save it into a variable which is which I'm going to call me so we can do user.objects. now instead of all we can uh, use filter filter and I'm going to filter by the name. 
So name is going to be equal to admin. So inside the parentheses, I, I provide the uh, from for what I am going to filter with. Oh, sorry. Okay, so um, the error is he, here is that there is no name, but it is the uh, username. Sorry about that. Okay, so now uh, we still have a query set. So now, now that I think about it, uh, we're not supposed to use filter in this case since we want uh, one specific user. So it's better to use the uh, get method. So let's do that instead. But in the meantime, we uh, we learned about filter as well. So instead of a filter, we do user dot objects dot get, and we get uh, this, this specific user uh, by the username admin. Okay, let's. Now, if we check me, it's this specific user admin. We're going to use this to create a post. Okay, so uh, let's create a post. So I'm going to call this post, and it is going to be post.objects.create. And I'm going uh, to input one by one all the uh, attributes for the class post here. So we need to provide an author, a title, and a text. So I'm going to say author is going to be me, which I have here with this specific user. Uh, I'm going to say uh, the title is going to be inside. It's going to be a string, sample title. Sample title 2, I'm calling this. And the text is going to be sample text 2. We don't need to provide this created and published date since this will be uh, created automatically. The created date automatically and the published date when we do the publish. Okay, so now we have this post and we can use the method publish to publish it. Post.publish. Okay, let's see if we have created the post and if, if we can uh, get it listed when we do. Uh, when we list all the posts. So post.objects.all and here we have another uh, the second one. Okay, so so far we have done, uh, we have listed all the objects, we have created an object, we can do the filtering. Let's, let's try the filtering of the posts. Post.objects.filter um, and let's filter by the author. So author equals me. And as you can see, we get the same query set because uh, I am the author of the both posts we have. We can also uh, perform ordering or we can uh, do some other custom filtering. For example, we can filter by the date uh, which the posts have been uh, published or created. To do that, we need the time zone utility. So let's import that from Django.utils import time zone. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's do the filtering by uh, the time. So again, post.objects.filter. And here I'm going to filter by the uh, published date. So I'm going to say published date. And in uh, Django ORM, we can do this custom filtering LTE with double underscores here. And we can say that uh, we want the published date to be less than. That's why we use LTE here less than, uh, for example, the current time. And to get the current time, we're going to use uh, the function from the time zone utility, time zone dot now. OK, so we get the query set for both posts since they are both uh, published before the now. But we can create a third one. So uh, I'm going to call this, let me use the the create uh, the create we did before so I don't have okay so I'm going to call this post 3 
post three is going to have me again as an author, sample title three and sample text three. Okay, so if we list all the post objects now, dot all, we have three. But if we do the filtering, if, uh, like we did before, post.objects.filter by the published date less than uh, the time zone dot now, which is the time now, we only get the two posts. Since the third post isn't published yet, so we can do the publish for post three dot publish. Oh, post underscore three. Okay, and uh, there it is. Okay. Now we have done uh, the filtering, we can do the ordering of the objects. So um, we can do post.objects. So we can do post.objects. Order by, and we can order them by the created date, date, which is, remember, the field here and we get them uh, ordered if we want them in a uh, by the created date in reverse so we can use the minus here and as you can see we get the last post first in the query set this is ordering and we can also combine uh, queries by doing method chaining for example we can filter and order by okay so let's say that I want to uh, do post.objects.filter uh, filter by, let's say, by the, uh, by the author is me. And after uh, filtering, I want to chain another method, the order by. So after uh, after I have finished with this filter method, I can use the dot notation again and do order by publish date, for example. And I want the last published first, so I'm going to do this. So this is method chaining. We can apply uh, other methods after we finished with one. So after we are finished with filter, we can apply order by. And as you can see, we get all the posts uh, ordered by the published date, since I am the author on all three. Okay, so these are all the, uh, so we can do more complex queries with Django ORM if you keep chaining on methods. Django ORM is really powerful and you can explore it on your own using the uh, shell. To get out of the shell, you can uh, type in quit. Oh, sorry, quit with the parentheses. And you're back uh, here. I'm going to clear this. So guys, uh, I hope you have a better understanding on how, on how the Django ORM works, on all the uh, query sets and the methods you can use. And I hope you find this useful. I hope you continue learning Python and Django. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out uh, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and also like, share, subscribe. Uh, make sure you support the channel. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.